Hello from Sometimes Sexy Astrology for July 2014. I have to say that because really, um, I think so many people misunderstand my channel. Like the sexy part, literally just the word is the hook. Technically it's not me and I'm wearing a ball gown today in celebration that I have finally caught up with my horoscopes. So. Anyway, here now your horoscope for July 2014. Welcome to the month of being female has its rewards. Since I won my trademark in uh, May and then it was published for opposition for a 30 day period, and then challenged by someone else with a different mark, um, I have been on fire to catch up with my YouTube show. So here now, your horoscope. Hello, dear Gemini from Sexy Astrology, or sometimes Sexy Astrology, for the month of July 2014. Yes, could it be that you are getting some long sought out media coverage this month, yes, it could. And if there are sides to be taking, they are on your side. And this is true for me. I'll tell you, my Gemini moon had me like out of the blue. The post came over and took pictures and interviewed me about sexy astrology. And I was like, why, what? Like, how now did anyone ever know about what was going on with my mark? They just knew. Anytime you trademark something with the word sexy, it turns out the media is like, oh my God, she can't just do that. You know, I mean, it's one thing that like women can pose on the side of a bus in their underwear. And it's another thing entirely for that same woman to have a brain and talk about astrology. So whatever. I mean, not that I think I'm sexy because I don't. But the bottom line is, is it, it confuses people. There's some confusion and I'm here to set the record straight. I don't think I'm sexy. The word sexy is used as a hook wearing a ball gown today because I'm celebrating. I'm finally caught up with my channel. So anyway, Mercury and Venus and Gemini, hell yeah! Attraction, not promotion. That's all I can say, Gemini. You've got it going on, baby. 